analyzing your small business data is a daunting task. I don't have to tell you. Your data could be laid out something like this. Yeah. And you can try to examine those numbers. Or you can have it look like this. Much easier to read, much easier to understand, and very presentable to show anyone, for that matter. And our next guest will guide us to a whole new world of making our business numbers with a few simple clicks. Please welcome office productivity expert Brian Kane. Brian, thanks for Pleasure. being here, man. I don't need to tell you numbers scare people, charts scare people. Excel is sort of the standby, the old trusty, a lot of small business people. That's sort of like our partner in crime, our official business partner. But it can still be intimidating to lay out numbers, especially as your business starts to grow. But you guys are sort of addressing that. You're redeveloping it. You're absolutely correct. And the key thing here is that Excel is one of those applications that everyone uses. Right. The industry standard for actuaries and business analysts and people who are really advanced. Mm -hmm. The question is, how do you take those tools that those experts, those Excel gurus use, and present them in a way that you and I can use right. as small business owners? So I'd like to start off by just taking a look at some basic information we have here. And this is just some key metrics that we're measuring our sales performance you on. Get your stores, how much they've made in sales, some reps exactly. there, regions. Okay. So we'll start off. A lot of people learn visually. When they look at a series of numbers, it doesn't do anything for them. Right. So something very simple you can do is some conditional formatting that will show that information as color bars. So you can hmm. look at this and quickly see, okay, I have a pretty good gist for how everyone's performing. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's take I see it's that. got kind of the ticker there. There you go. How full or how not full. Let's take that to another level. Here's all of our sales representatives, and we want to see how they're doing overall. What we can do is some performance improvement. So what we'll say is, I want to know who's above average, and I'm going to highlight those cells in yellow. Wow. And then I want to know who's our top 10% performer, and I'm going to highlight those in green. And now when I look here, I can see that, oh, okay, Alex is our top performer. I want to figure yeah. out what he is doing right. and make sure everyone else is. And you could take this to another level and see who's your bottom performers, whatever. Let's say that, that was really easy. Really easy. Just that was a few really clicks. handy and easy, yeah. So the idea okay. is that you don't have to do that in your head. Right. You're, you're allowing Excel to analyze that business data for you. That is great. Let's say that you want to come up with a scorecard, which I recommend every business has. Okay. So here we have our sales and our budget and how we're performing to that. I see. What we can do is just create a very simple scorecard that has some icons, in this case, red, yellow, uh, I'm sorry, green, yellow, and red lights. Okay. And then from that, we can see if we're hitting our goal, if we're underperforming, et cetera. I see. So all of this, very basic, simple things you can do. Once again, things that you can almost break down your numbers at a glance, which is kind of handy. You know, you don't really have to analyze. I could look right down and say, well, in the green, they're doing good. Uh-oh, somebody's in the red. Not happening. So that's, that's handy. Exactly right. Here it's a little more complicated. We have all of our stores and then all of the departments within that store. And when you look okay. at this, it's just a bunch of numbers. Yeah. <laughs> One thing we can do that's really great, all we're going to do is highlight all of those cells, and then I'm going to click on Format as a Table. And so this will do two things. One, it's pretty obvious. It'll make things more colorful for me. Mm -hmm. And the second will be that it allows me to do some pretty clever things. So, for example, I'm going to add in a new column here, and I'm just going to call it Total. And now I'm going to go to my format up here, and I'm going to click on Sum. And you can see it automatically highlights all of those cells for me. And when I hit Enter, it populates that for all of the other rows. So all wow. of our stores, you can see the total. You can do the same thing for average or whatever other metric you want to look at. Wow. If I want to add in a total line, all I have to do is just click on Total Row. And it will give me that, that business information. If I want to sort on books, let's say I want to see our, our top-selling bookstore. You can see that it's Store 10. Change your mind. Um, I want to do that. I want to see who's our worst performing electronic store. You can see it's store 13. <laughs> so you really break it out store by store, item by item. You can say, what well, you know, is this product selling? Where is it the best selling? You know, what store? I mean, you've really got it under all of those tabs. It's all right there. Yeah, and let's wow. say that one of your columns was products. Mm -hmm. You could select just one product and see how it's doing at all those stores. Right. So this, I would say, is probably your better solution. Absolutely. But if you really want to use the tools that the big boys use, that's where pivot tables come in. And here pivot we have tables. all of our sales information from the entire year. As you scroll through this, you can see it's an unbelievable like amount of year. information. <laughs> Looks like a good year, yeah. but we have no idea. Okay. So all we have to do 
click on Insert and Pivot Table, and I'll show you what a pivot table is rather than try to explain it to yeah. you. What this will allow us to do is summarize all of our information, okay. and all we have to define is a few things. So obviously in values, we're going to want to have sales. Okay. Now, let's say that I wanted to look at, uh, let's go to, let's go to uh, a geographic area, let's say okay. the state. And then you can see how all of our states are doing. And wow. then below that, we could say, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, how our publishers are doing. And you can see it breaks down by publisher how each of those are doing. It's impressive. So the key thing here is <laughs> it allows you to filter through all of your business information and find trends within your data. So you're like your own analyst. I mean, this is something I would assume I would need like a staff of people to do. Go find out who's exactly. doing this, which publishers, and it's all right here. And professional With business Excel. managers won't tell you this, but this is exactly what they do. You've given out their shh. We think they're out working for weeks and weeks at a time. Now, talk to me about this. You've shown me how easy it is to break down your stats, your numbers, who's doing what and where, keep your books straight and understand them, which is refreshing. What happens when I want to distribute that information? Because small businesses, a lot of people are on the road, they're working remotely. How can I share this information? I know you guys have also been troubleshooting on that. And that's a very key question. Because at any given point in time, there may be five different versions of a document that people mm -hmm. are referencing. Mm -hmm. So if I'm saving all my documents on email and then sending them out, you're making a change, you're just keeping it there, or restoring on a flash drive and passing it around, right. very much not the optimal solution. Right. So what we want to do is to be able to go up to the Office button and just save it to Office Live Workspace which is an online host environment where we can save all our documents. So that means you could come in and take a look at them later. We could edit them at the same time, and it's all in a very secure it's and easy environment. online office that everybody can get to. And that's exactly. all there, like you said, so that we're not all working with different versions of the same numbers and the books are all wrong. That's slick, very handy. Thanks for helping us make sense of uh, numbers, which is the scariest thing in the world to me. I'm a lot less scared now. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Appreciate it, man. All right, and thank you, Brian, for all of the productivity advice. For more information on the great new benefits of Microsoft Office, visit sbsummit.com slash guests. It's all there for you.